everyone. Welcome to Number Worlds Level D, Unit 3, Edition, Week 4, Edition, Tools and Strategies. My name is Miss Giggin and I work at Juniata Elementary. I'm really looking forward to working with all of you this week. Before we start, let's make sure we are ready to learn. So we will need a quiet space, pencil and paper, your brain, and your Number Worlds workbook. Make sure in the top right corner it says Level D, Unit 3, Edition. So this video is for the whole week. So each day I will be teaching a new concept. You will need to skip ahead to the time the next lesson starts when you come back the next day. So Monday we will be talking about using a number line to write addition equations. Tuesday we will be adding on a number line, Wednesday counting on, Thursday adding in vertical format, and Friday is our review. Monday, May 4th. Go ahead and turn to page 41 in your student workbook. The past few weeks we've been talking about collections. Today we're going to talk about a sticker collection. So, a collection does not always stay the same size. If you add new items, it gets bigger. There are many ways to figure out the size of the collection. So on page 41, take a look at the stickers on the yellow page. How many stickers are on the page? Good, there are 20 stickers on the page. How many stickers are being added to the collection? You see on the right side, there are some stickers that they are going to add to the collection. Good, there are four stickers being added to the collection. Now, what is the new number of stickers in the collection? To figure this out, we could number each of the stickers or we could even write an addition problem. So if we started with 20 and we added four more, how many total stickers would we have? 24, very good. All right, let's warm up a little bit. So what I want you to do is tell me the answer to each of these problems. You can go ahead and show me on your hands, okay? So four plus zero is four, good job. Two plus three, five. And then what is the sum of seven plus three? 10, great job. All right, today we will be writing equations to describe a forward movement on a number line. So since we're moving forward or to the right on the number line, we know that we are going to write an addition equation. So when we write an addition equation, we must include at least two add-ins a plus sign, an equal sign, and the sum. All right, let's give it a try. So take a look at our number line here. Notice you see it starts on zero and goes all the way up to 10. So we're gonna complete a little activity today. I'm gonna give you a number to start on then I'm going to roll the dice and I'll show you what number I roll and that's going to be the distance of the jump that we make on the number line. Then we're going to try to write an equation with that. So if I start on zero, I'll put a dot there so we remember, and I roll my dice and I get a three. I'm going to count three on my number line. One, two, three. You can see the jump that I made, and it is three. And I landed on three. So our equation, to write our equation, our first add-in will be the number we start on. So zero, and we're moving forward, so we know we're adding, so we'll use a plus sign. And what was the distance of the jump we made? Three. And then I landed on three. So our sum is three. So zero plus three equals three. 
zero is where the jump starts, three is the distance of the jump, and three is where the jump ends. All right, let's try another one. So let's say we start on five this time. I'm gonna roll my dice. I landed on six. So I'm gonna count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I drew my arrow. Now let's try to write our equation. So the first add end is the number we start on. So that was five. We're moving forward. So we know we're going to add. What was the distance of the jump? Six. And what number did I land on? 11, very good. So the number we land on is going to be the sum or the answer. So five is where the jump starts, six was the distance of the jump, and 11 is where the jump ends. So what is the equation that is shown on this number line? Remember where you start, the distance of the jump, and then where the jump ends. So you should have got 3 plus 5 equals 8. Now, how would you explain what the numbers in this problem stand for when using a number line? 2 plus 5 equals 7. So 2 is the number that we would start on. 5 would be the distance of the jump we make on our number line. And 7 is the number we land on. So 2 plus 5 equals 7. What direction do you move on the number line when you add? Right. To the right or forward. You have completed lesson one. You can now turn to the workbook pages 42 and 43 and complete those. And you can pause the video here and come back tomorrow for more learning. Welcome back everyone. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. Let's warm up. So, six plus four is 10. Good job. Five plus three? eight, three plus six, nine. Good job. All right, today we will be adding on a number line. We will be using an equation to draw the moves on the number line that the equation describes. We're also going to practice writing the addition equations that the number line describes just as we did yesterday. Before we start, I just want to remind you that the first add-in in our equation is going to be the number we start on or the number where the jump begins on our number line. The plus sign tells us we're going to move forward or to the right on the number line. The next add-in is the distance of the jump you make on the number line and the sum will be where the jump ends. So let's give it a try. So here is our first problem, seven plus nine equals blank. So I have my number line here. What number do you think I might start on? I'm going to start on seven. Okay, that is our first add-in. So I start on seven, and then the nine tells us the distance of the jump. So we're adding nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what number did we land on? 16, very good. So seven plus nine is 16. Our next problem is nine plus three equals blank. Let's take a look at our number line. What number are we going to start on? Good, nine, our first addend is nine, so we start on nine, and then we're adding how many more? 
three. So let's count one, two, three. And I land on 12. So I know that my answer is 12. Now let's take a look at this number line. So you see that this number line shows two equations. So let's look at the red arrow first. Where does the jump start here? Zero. What is the distance of this jump? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we land on six. So our first equation will be zero plus six equals six. Now, our orange arrow starts on six. What is the distance of this jump? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I land on 13. So I started on six. My, the distance of my jump was seven. And I land on 13. So my addition equation is six plus seven equals 13. Or you can see that this number line shows one equation. We could just write one equation. Zero plus six plus seven equals 13. Let's try another one. So let's take a look at the red arrow. Where does the red arrow start? Zero. What is the distance of the jump? Let's count. One, two, three, four, and I land on four, so I know that's my answer. So zero plus four is four. Now let's look at the orange arrow. So it starts on four. What is the distance of the jump? One, two, and I land on six. So four plus two equals six. And then my yellow arrow starts on six. One, two, three, four, five. The distance of the jump is five and I land on 11. So six plus five equals 11. Or you can see that the number line shows one equation. So zero plus four plus two plus five equals 11. Now I want you to try. So first take a look at the blue arrow. You should have got zero plus five equals five. Now the yellow arrow. Five plus four equals nine and the green arrow. Nine plus six equals 15. Or one equation would be zero plus five plus four plus six equals 15. Do you always move in the same direction on a number line when adding? Let's think about that. When we're adding, think about what direction you move. Is it always the same direction? Yes, numbers increase as you move right on a number line just as a number increases when you add to it. You have completed lesson two. You can turn to pages 44 and 45 and complete those pages and then pause the video here and come back tomorrow for more learning. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. All right, let's warm up a little bit. So 43 plus four. Forty seven, good job. Fifty two plus five. 
57. Good job. 63 or 36 plus 3. 39. Good job. Today we are going to practice counting on. You can use the count on strategy to add small numbers to larger numbers. You can use your fingers to help you keep track of how many numbers you have counted on so you know when to stop counting. You can also use a number line if you need additional help. So let's give it a try. So here we see our number line. We have 11 plus 4. So let's try the count on strategy. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start on 11 and the next number after 11 is 12. So I'm going to count four more numbers. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I added four and got 15. So 11 plus four is 15. Now let's try the next one with our number line. So 14 plus six equals blank. So let's find 14 and add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. The answer is 20. 11 plus 6. Now you try. You can use count on or your number line. Good. The answer is 17. The last one, 13 plus 5, 18 is our answer. Great job. Now you notice our number line starts at 21 and goes all the way up to 40. So our first problem is 25 plus 4. So let's try count on 25, 26, 27, 28. 29. So I added 4. 25 plus 4 is 29. Let's try the next one with count on as well. 31 plus 6. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So our answer is 37. Go ahead and try the next two using whichever strategy you prefer, using the number line or count on. Thirty two plus three would be thirty five. Good job. Thirty six plus two, thirty eight. Now notice our number line starts on forty one and goes up to sixty. So forty nine plus four. Fifty-three, great job. Fifty-two plus five. Fifty-seven, good job. Forty-one plus nine. Start on forty-one. Count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's our answer? Fifty. Good job. And 52 plus 3. Let's try counting on on our fingers. So 52, 53, 54, 55. Our answer is 55. Now we're going to write an equation for each of these problems. So you have 54 and you get 4 more. So if we get more, we are adding. Good. So 54 plus 4 equals 58. You have 24 and you get 3 more. Let's write an equation for this problem. We we'll start with 24. If you get 3 more, you're adding 3 more, so you get 27. 
You have completed lesson three. You can now turn to pages 46 and 47 and complete the workbook pages and pause the video here and come back tomorrow for more learning. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is Thursday, May 7th. All right, let's warm up. Today I have an addition equation here. If you think the addition equation is correct, I want you to clap your hands. If you think it's incorrect, I don't want you to clap your hands. So, 53 plus 2 equals 54. That is incorrect. What do you think the answer should be? It should be 55. 22 plus 6 equals 28. Is that correct? Good, you should clap your hand. The last one, 14 plus 9 equals 13. Hmm. That is incorrect. What would the answer be? 23, very good. All right, so today we're going to be adding in vertical format. So addition problems can be written in two ways, horizontally and vertically. So when we solve a problem in vertical format, we first need to add the numbers in the ones column. So here's the ones column. We have a three and a five in our ones column. And then you would write the number under the bar here. So 3 plus 5 is 8, so we would write 8 under here. Then you add the numbers in the tens column and write the number under the bar in the tens column. So we have 5, and there's nothing here, so 5 plus 0 is 5. And then the number here, the number under the bar, is our answer. So let's give it a try. So 85 plus 3. So remember, start in your ones column. 5 plus 3 is 8. Good job. Now here's our tens column. We need to add up the tens column. So 8 plus 0 is 8. Good job. So our answer is 88. All right, let's try another one. 41 plus 6. Start in our ones column. 1 plus 6 is 7. Good. And 4 plus 0 would be 4. So 41 plus 6 equals 47. 23 plus 4. Start in the ones. 3 plus 4 is 7, good job, and 2 plus 0 is 2. So 23 plus 4 is 27. 42 plus 13, start in the 1s, 2 plus 3 is 5, good job. Now we'll go to the 10s column, 4 plus 1 is 5. So our answer is 55. 42 plus 13 equals 55. 15 plus 4. So start in the ones. 5 plus 4 is 9. 1 plus 0 is 1. So that is 19. Now let's write an equation horizontally to check our work. So we would start with 15 plus 4 and let's use one of our strategies. So let's try count on. So if I start at 15 and I count on with my fingers, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, it does equal 19. So we are correct. You have completed lesson four. 
You can now turn to pages 48 and 49 in your student workbook and complete those pages. And then you can pause the video here and come back tomorrow for more learning. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is Friday, May 8th. All right, let's warm up. So 45 plus four. 49, good job. 67 plus 7. If you need a number line, you can use one of your number lines or you can use your count on strategy with your fingers. 74, good job. 13 plus 3. 16, good job. And the last one, 21 plus 6. 27. All right, let's take a look at what we learned this week. So on Monday, we talked about using a number line to write addition equations. Tuesday, we were adding on a number line. Wednesday, we were talking about counting on or the counting on strategy. And Thursday, we learned about adding in vertical format. So if you feel that you need some extra practice with one of these concepts, I would like for you to return to that section um, of this video. Now you can flip to page 50 and 51 in your workbook and you will complete the review for this week. Once you're finished with that, you are done with week four. Thank you for watching. Come back next week for more learning. If you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me or any of your learning sport teachers. Have a great weekend, everyone.